<laughs> this RDL Studios production is brought to you by The Fun Channel Productions. Subscribe to receive all your pop culture, convention, and event fills along with some other goodies. And Team Triforce. Subscribe for all your pop culture enthusiastic news and discussions along with tiny surprises. And now for the main event. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, anytime you're watching this. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Royal Duke Lorenzo and I am back for another worldwide adventure with two of my friends from Team Triforce. Guest, introduce yourself. Hello, I am Ray, also known as Uncle Frank. Hello, I am Caesar, also known as the Son of Frank Puso. And we are Team Triforce, kind of. Oh, really? And Bullock. So today we are going to be doing a Lorenzo's Adventures at a famed New York location. Um, unfortunately, it will be closing down in July, and so we are here here to actually explore the place on video for you guys before it closes. Um, let's see if our esteemed guests know what we're doing. Ray, what are we doing? We are going to the choice before it closes. You didn't. You didn't need to tell them the name. God damn it! <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we doing, Caesar? We're going to F O H Sports before it closes. <laughs> you, clo you, you totally missed out. So Ray spoiled it already. We're going to F A O Sports. Who just edited? Is that what I said? <laughs> he said F O H Sports. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome. To Not welcome. <laughs> welcome to the street of New York. But to just live your life. <laughs> Alright, let's go. These are not real glasses, they are sunglasses, but they make me feel great. So. At least they're not real good glasses with my stick. I actually like those. Thank you very much. Just don't show the rules. Yep. All right, guys. So, welcome to the Apple Store. Yep, there it is. All right, guys. See you later. <laughs> nope, nope. Here's a real deal. Welcome to FAO Schwartz. Unfortunately, the steam location, as, lo as well as the Toys R Us in Times Square. Spoiler alert. Oh, it's closing it's down. Not really much of a spoiler. It's yeah, it's in in the news. Unfortunately, they're closing down. Um. Yeah. This is my first time at this store. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, welcome. This is my, like, I come here every year. So, welcome to FAO Schwartz. Oh, wow, so FAO Schwartz is like a Lawrence's Nintendo. Like no, not really. My so I go to Nintendo World. Nintendo also. World is my Nintendo World. Well, so you go to this store like almost every day. No, I say every year. Oh. Okay. Store. I've never been up here actually. Have you guys ever seen Home Alone 2? This is that's where they did FAO shorts. Yeah. That is FAO shorts. I've seen the first one, but I can't remember if I've seen the second one. I think I've seen the second one. Welcome to FAO shorts, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, let's just see if we can catch a thumbnail. Guys, look. And they're actually, and they feel very realistic. <laughs> and they feel very realistic too. Um, and but they're expensive. And so this store, this store, this store is actually what it is. Is it? Um, oh, you're not in this right now. <laughs> what this store really is is that it. 
lot of people say that F.A.O. Schwartz is a, a store for the rich, the rich and wealthy, which, it, it just, it's not really that, it's just, they have an extensive range of prices, so they have anything from as low as a dollar-ish, depending on what you buy, all the way to about, mm, about a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, depending on what you buy. Maybe not. <laughs> the store is actually up for a, um, a couple, a uh, bunch of millions of dollars. <laughs> I don't know the exact numbers, but pretty much they are, they're going out of business on July 15, 2015, which is much earlier than Toys R Us that's actually going on Times Square. It's just going out of business. Toys R Us is Look out for that Lorenzo's Adventures in the coming months. So let's actually head out. So this is the way that it's gonna go, everybody. So level two, we will be exploring that. That's where you have action figures, dolls, games, Legos, and vehicles. There's also a lot of other cool stuff up there I really like. Midtown Comics actually has a, their own little branch up here. Oh, um, sweet. Oh, nice. They have the big piano and books. They have some books and they have big piano. Just one of the theme, the best things of coming to FAO Schwartz is the really, really big piano. You mean big piano? Yeah. And so, and then downstairs there is a candy place and where you can also you can make your own muffin. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and they have a baby place downstairs. I don't think we'll be visiting that place because obviously we have facial hair. I think we're babies. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get going to our very first location. By the way, kudos to FDS Schwartz for this awesome balcony. Yeah, we were the only ones on this balcony. It's, it's usually busy in the nighttime and usually busy on weekends. Today is a Memorial Day, just so you guys know. Yep. So, Today is May 26, 2015. So it stands to reason why. Tiny, Tiny was missing. This is the the big dog. This one is actually 300 bucks. Whoa! And then there's a pink one over there. You guys can pick one over there. That's really cool. Right? Oh my gosh. It's a big one. This is the all in, the all famous Zoltar. Pretty much, you put in a dollar. He tells you your fortune. Um. Give me your debt. Should Anybody I, want to try it? Should I do it? Go ahead, Caesar. If I'll you want, it. if you want to. You will be Watching Caesar using it. Up. Let's check this out, Caesar. Now watch this. Zoltar is here to give you the wisdom of the ancients. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for, it is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend, and surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Zoltar. And there is your teller card. That is what you pay one dollar for. <laughs> he doesn't actually move his lips because he's been around for a long time. This thing, I think, has been around since the 20s. It's a really old... Oh no, 1862. What does it say, Caesar? We've been trying to figure out the best time to travel. We're wondering if a business trip, business trip or vacation would be good. It would be. You may be wondering if the, you may be wondering if the travel is a better thing than to arrive. It does not fit that everyone should travel. You change your sky, not your mind. You cross the sea or land. A business idleness possesses and a busy uh, idleness possesses you. You seek a happy life with ships, cars, and planes. The object of your search is present within you. If you travel for your holiday, remember that holidays holiday is one spent among people whose notions of time are more vague than your own. Which is us. Yep. So, you have, a you have a This is usually they put featured toys here. It's called Summer Fun, so this is featured toys. Summer Fun. Nerf. Y'all ball, inflatable ball. Really cool. They usually have in the like around the, in the summertime. Look at this little guy. Remember, guys, it's Nerf or nothing. Like, he loves you. <laughs> it looks a lot like Jimmy Neutron. He does. <laughs> or Hugh. Yeah. Jimbo. So, oh. <laughs> it's Nerf. So, it's Nerf or nothing. Usually they have like those little kicky things. I forget what they're called. They're not the hacky sacks, but they have a different name to it. 
So, and we'll be heading down that way in a little bit. You have the yes. classic Jack in the Box. Yes. They're called Bear in the Box, actually. And so, and that's I, a princess in the box. Yeah. Every time, every time I come, every time Ooh. I come down to, come down to FAO Schwartz, I enjoy stupid bear. <laughs> I enjoy stupid bear. You make me enjoy. <laughs> it actually scared me. I'm not I'm not playing with you guys. It comes out of nowhere. In you go. It'll be worse at least uh, at least it doesn't do that when you're playing uh, you know five nights. No, it's worse in five nights. I'm surprised Bowser hasn't done this yet. You're surprised Bowser hasn't done what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit you. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing we didn't take a look over here. There's some more stuff. Here's a cute little kitty. And kitty. And these awesome dog chairs. So you can actually sit on your dog mm -hmm. And uh, here's these tiny little toy Yorkies. Toy Yorkie. Toy puppies. There's some more puppies back here. Those are toy Yorkies down there. Also. Um, here's some, ooh, here's some bowls. Some, some more dogs cute. and some more nerf. Yeah, I just mazed around. All right. So over here you have bubbles. Some really cool, more summer fun stuff. You got Yoda, R two D two, Darth Vader. You have some chalk. So again, um. This, like I said, oh, here's some candy. You'll see a lot more of that in a second. Mayachi. These are the ones I was talking about. These are like hacky sacks. Why I have to choose the, the pink one? <laughs> they're like hacky sacks, but they're for more experts. And I'll show you that they even have gloves for these guys, which is means shows just how much of an expert type thing it has to be. Um, this. You can see there are more animals over there, but they don't really want to see that. So again, there's a obo disc mesos, which are pretty much big discs that um, hand trampolines. So if you've ever played like those games where you have to catch the not it's not handball, but it's like Velcro and then you're throwing a ball and you have to catch it on your hands. It's kind of pretty much the same thing. Here's some some very very uh, vintage toys. So like wind up toys, classics, classic toys. Yeah. See? I wonder what years these things would take back. Well, these things actually back to around 19 in the early 1900s. It's just Whoa. these things, or even earlier. But the thing is, the, these things are obviously made in the past like year. <laughs> they're, they're just remake. They remake them for FAO Schwartz because FAO Schwartz is a vintage toy store. guys and so you have more new this is where you see more New York merchandise this is always here year-round so you have the little bear you have the Statue of Liberty bear you got the oh sorry you have the taxi bear I have firefighter bear damn the, wow. the mirror well, dog that's just the taxi car yeah, so yeah. taxi bear, <laughs> taxi bear. Um, taxi. you have some bags over here some really cool bags um, more New York merchandise over here. Here is Clue, the very luxury edition of Clue. Oh, I remember that board game. I love Clue. This is like Clue is such a good game. This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate Clue. I, I never, uh, I never understood. You know what? It was Mr. Purple with the knife in the chandelier room. Yes, never, that is where I come from. <laughs> I can never play this game. And so, like I said, um, 
the FAO Schwartz is for for they have a large range of prices for their items. So you got the golden slinky for 150 bucks. You have the red crystal etch sketch for fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred, yeah. And then the the blue etch sketch for a thousand. Like I said, they're a little pricey sometimes. However, you have things like this, which I actually have an original, not of this particular. But these are really cool. I actually have a, uh, a monorail. I seriously feel like we're back in the old days. Mm -hmm. So we already saw the Jack in the Box. These things are all all wild. Box those cool. guys. We took a. We, we, ah. What's this? We, we got in a time box and we're back in 19. Back in 1980 something. These things actually. Um, Caesar, hold the selfie stick. I mean the Lorenzo stick. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, they have to see it. They have to see it. Cool. I know, right? And then? Ah. And then? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was gonna move in this box because there's like a light room in here. No? <laughs> Yo, future Lawrence, if you edit that in, I swear. <laughs> um. So you have some Christmas themed New York City oh, ornament. Oh. Freedom Tower, that's recent. Yeah. Then you have the New York Bear. And you have these, these are really cool gifts. Um, I forget how much they are, but they're cheap. If you guys can't think of a birthday gift, get them this. Yeah, these are really nice. Alright guys, so now... We're gonna get a birthday gift that's cheap. We are on to the next portion of our tour, which is... FAO Sweets. Get behind me. Get behind me. We're gonna take a picture right now. Ready? On the other side. Ready? <laughs> um, so we're gonna try not to edit this video as much. We're just gonna compile all the footage. So we can't really. I'm not really gonna show everything because it is just a really, really big candy store. It's something you can get at like Hershey World on Times Square, which we will do a Lorenzo's adventure of one day, along with the M&M's room. We might do an entire Times Square thing, but I think that would take up too many videos. That'd be like a series. That'd be like a series. That's like season two, bro. Yeah. So, is my favorite Hershey. <laughs> yeah. is my season favorite three probably. Chocolate. 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 These are really cool Hershey syrup. Cool. So, like I said, How much are they? They have a really it's syrup pump offer, so you can pump up your syrup. They pretty much, they have a lot of really special, special things here that you can't usually buy elsewhere unless you go to the. Uh, yeah. Unless you go to Hershey Park or Hershey World in Times Square. Um, you're not really allowed to try the candy, but if you try the candy, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, the store's gonna close, they're not gonna close. Yeah, they won't. So, they're full of Chinese food containers. I'm a, I'm, I'm a sucker for the Reese's. Chinese food I'm a sucker. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I like Guys, I am a sucker for these things. They taste so good. Look the chocolate out. It's my favorite. Um. Oh, I can't, I don't want to be more tea. 
And then let's also get a picture with this thing right here. So as you can see, we're taking pictures as we're vlogging, so... Alright, so... For those of you that don't know, I used to do, um, I used to do puppetry uh, with our famed uh, acting director. He used to teach me ventriloquism. And so, my favorite was the, were these types of puppets. These are the puppets I would always use. I would eventually, um, I eventually started in Avenue Q within my high school. And I had, I got a chance to play with puppets exactly like this. It was my favorite. So, Ray? Right? Mm -hmm. I won't put any Avenue Q music because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> so, they don't have the rods, however, they're supposed to have rods. So. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. What do you want? What do you want? Soup. You don't get no soup. No soup for you. 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 I want to kill you. Well, who goes on first? Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> So they do if they count that they have too, the rods over there actually. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Man. That was really cool. Man. 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 And so pretty much uh, uh, I've always wanted wanted a Muppets. I thought I was about to put in Michael because that's usually Michael. What's going on? It's actually a really good voice. I got the good stuff right in here. <laughs> All right, guys. Go ahead. Who say has that cool style board? Maybe he's the guy from Greece or yeah, the guy exactly. from the Outsiders. He looks like he's got that Elvis. No, not really. No, not, he, look, not Elvis, he looks like, like a Prince Royce version of uh, not Elvis, of, but like, of uh, Danny Danny uh, well, kind Danny of like, Zuko. Kind of like an early. Well, like let's say. He kind of looks like if Romeo, Romeo, Romeo Santos or um, or Prince Royce were to dress up as Daddy Zuko from Greece. And he got turned into a Muppet. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's, that was I think, like, the style of, of like that. Yeah, that's what really like. Yeah. Alright, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. anything to say? I don't know how to really do a Daddy Zuko impression. No, just, 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 just do it. Just speak. Whatever comes to mind. No. Hey, what are you looking at? Move his mouth. You're not moving his mouth. <laughs> I don't know how to move his mouth. Do it. This is my first time using this thing. Oh. <laughs> give me, give me. Yeah. Tu es mi corazón. Tu. Tu es mi corazón. Por favor, mira. Por favor, te amo, te amo, por favor, te amo. Te amo. <laughs> that's, that's what they usually do in the sofa. Right? At one point, the girl smacks the guy. Right. <laughs> Alright. As we call them, as we call them, uh, novelas. Because <laughs> it gets so dramatic. Alright, guys. Oh, 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 it's really sad that this place is going to be cold. But that just means I can go around and try more candy before I leave. Guys, what up, Let me get some Reese's. Guys, get some Can't make it too obvious. <laughs> Oh, wax bottles. Yeah, These are really cool. Raise the bottle. <laughs> Starburst. Hey, honey. Looks like you used to You those you can't take. <laughs> Obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the German raspberry. Those were good. I've never heard of them. These are really good. This is the raspberry. It's like, what? This is the perfect Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> If only this would be a one for much longer. 
Cheap figurine, well, cheap figure, cheap figurines. <laughs> Guys, we're cheap. Again. No, we are not yet. Oh, wait, no. I just realized what they are. You put your face on them. 
Oh. Oh. That's what. Oh. That makes sense. That's cool. So you get to be on that. Before we. Before. <laughs> maybe. 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 I don't have money. Later on. Well, I'd like to put my face on Captain America's costume. Well, hopefully when I start working in a week or two weeks, uh, I'll have money. All right, guys. So. You see this third part, part by the way, can you spot the Robin? Can you spot the Robin? I just pointed it at him, so it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, so, we're about to take a picture. Here's a few things. They have a really big doll collection. These are just two examples, and, but they're really expensive, and they have like a... It's, really, it's like literally like a baby baby adoption type thing. It's really cute. You get a certificate and everything. Like, like American girl. Yeah, exactly. You get a certificate, they're collecting. These are Wizard of Oz. Come in these boxes right here. <laughs> now, guys, get over here because we are entering a new section. Ready? Get on this side. Ready? Oh. We're not going to be cutting much. Um, Yoda on a chair. He's just relaxing, chilling. This is really cool. Um, oh, this is the this is the famous the famous Han Solo versus um. Famous. I already forgot his name. Uh, Gringo. No, Gringo. Gringo. Greedo. Greedo. See, it says a lot about his name. That's an allegory. See, Mr. Seltzer, I learned something. If he's watching. I hope he is. Um, Han Solo pretty much kills Greedo. There you go. How simple as that. Oh, damn. He kills him underneath the table. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Join the dark side. All for one. And one for all. I'm just reminded of that scene from uh, from uh, Drake and Josh. Uh, you can put your Eminem. Yeah, they're, it's actually Eminem. <laughs> yeah, like when they go this, home and this is awesome right here. This is Darth Vader's head made out of milk chocolate. Guys, I think I'm gonna have diabetes. I need this. Chocolate dark. Chocolate. Here's something really cool. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has this really cool action figure. So let's take a picture. Um, here's a new section. We don't need to take a picture because we've seen a lot of these lately. It's from Steve. Actually, let's take let's take one. Let's take a quick one. Ready? I see that panda. Let's see. That's where they have more of that stuff. <laughs> this is Midtown Comics. This is the Midtown Comics branch. They're out of Amiibo. <laughs> what? I didn't even care. I didn't oh, even know. So I can... Guys, look. Look what I found. Look, it's another peach. I think we need to picture it. Oh, a uh, technically disordered peach. Uh, this was totally unexpected, guys. Wow. Looks like, uh... Dude, if they had all the rare meals, I would freak out. I would, I, would, I would just spend my money, I wouldn't care. You know where I can find these? Um, we've lost sight of where we were supposed to be. Back to the Midtown Comics section. <laughs> Back to the Midtown Comics section, guys. Caesar, get away from that place. You guys can now. Alright, so, there's also, Midtown Comics. There's also a Midtown yeah, Comics section. There's also... Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so pretty much, the, they they have everything. They, not really comics. They have graphic like collections. Yeah, the collectors Collecting, like you know with all yeah. the all the comics in there. All the like series. volumes, etc. Because they can't just every week um, put out a new comic. That would that would be make no sense. Um, kind of the Hyrule Historia. <laughs> nice one. Oh, nice. Second chances. Picture time! Oh, wait. Nice. 
nice. Oh, I missed it. No, we're, we're, uh, a picture of him. Oh, okay. This um, oh, this is like the, the first time I see that. Um, so you have more graphic novels. You got Avatar The Last Airbender over here. X-Men. Uh, X-Men. <laughs> uh, Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Again, a lot of things to do. Um, yeah, the Spider-Man, this was my favorite. I actually bought a copy of this, not the actual comic, I bought the, the graphic novel, but it was when they elected President Obama, and they had Spider-Man, it was really cool, and I- Spider-Man! It cost me With five Barack bucks. Obama. It cost me five dollars. I don't regret it. Okay, oh guys. Oh my god. Uh, Ready? Take it. Let's, let's take a picture with the Midtown Comics logo. <laughs> First this one. Let's take a picture with the Midtown Comics. Oh yeah. Okay, ready? I actually own that Caesar. Okay, ready? Alright, Midtown Comics logo. Midtown Comics logo. Caesar. Okay. <laughs> Caesar. Midtown Comics. No, you have to get in the picture. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that was an awkward picture. Uh, we, like, like I said, um, this came as a very, very pleasant surprise. I didn't expect it. Unexpected. He didn't expect it. I don't know about him. Well, I've never been here, so unexpected. <laughs> unexpected. All, All right, guys. So, in, uh, because you, we've been to Nintendo World and Toys R Us numerous times, <laughs> we've, um, it's best if we don't really explain it. You guys know what Amiibo are, right? And we've drilled it into your heads way too many times. Picture! Okay. Like how the Mario hat was on your head. Uh-huh. <laughs> now we have Skylanders over here. This is the big bad. The opposite of Amiibo. <laughs> Alright, so you guys know what Skylander is. Fix your time! Get over here. <laughs> Ready? Oh, my god. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so they have the nano drones right here. These, these things they sell. Oh, wow, you can't even see it. They sell these things all over the place. Pretty much, they're drones. That's it. <laughs> they're drones. Can you film them? Yes, you can. So, wait. You have, to, you have to attach a camera to them. Well, you can. as you can see right here, they're pretty expensive, so I'd imagine yeah. the quality has to be good. And. Should this for anywhere. Bye. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the video game section. This is the video game section, right? You guys know what video games are. Again, we have drilled it into your heads, the Disney Infinity. If you don't know what video games are, you've been living on the rock. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I think everybody knows what video game is. I'm actually I could be wrong. Um video games, video game, video game, video game, video game. It's time to take that picture in front of the video game section. Section. You ready? Okay, and let's take a picture with this guy right here. And over here. Which leads us into our very next section of the store. Wait, picture first. So there's just a lot of things here, like, that's why we wanted to show you, look, Town Square Miniature, this is a little fireplace thing. So like I said, 
Um, this place is definitely for people who can't afford a lot of this. This is really cute. They have FAO sword bags, tiny ones. So if you really, and these are examples of actual doll houses that people have built. And so you can, they are expensive. That's the thing. So if you want to build your own dolls, you better come with a fat stash of change. So, um, and there's that merry-go-round up there. I've always wanted it. I've always seen it. I've always seen picture books with all these doll houses, and I always thought they were really cool. But now I get to see them in person, and I'm having a flashback to my childhood. Really cool because they were just really cool. I wish they had them for men, you know. But it's like if you had a doll house, and who cares? Yeah. At this point, it's all about vintage stuff. So and these look pretty vintage to me. Um, this is a Bible. It'd be funny there was sex in There is actually. Check it out. Nice. Can you read them? I cannot. Uh, I can. Look at these TVs. Guys, look at these TVs. I'm gonna watch my little pony guys. On his old Alright, so let's take a picture in front of one of these dollhouses. Sure. Oh, that one right there. Caesar, where are you? Okay. Where are you at, Caesar? Where are you at, my man? Where are you at? Ready? at a part of me that you shouldn't be looking at. I'm sorry you're going, this is going to be really awkward. There you go. Um, so we will really be taking a lot more pictures in this area because this is more things that really you've already seen. Sorry. Things that you've already seen. Uh, here are the hats. Oh my god, I don't know what, oh. There you go. Here are the hats. Only you can prevent wildfires. They used to have this huge section of ugly dolls. I love uh, ugly dolls, they're really cool. Um, and you know, they've, they've recently grown out. They used to come to Comic Con, I don't think they do anymore. I used to have Ice Bat. Oh, love Superman. This guy, but not but not without the Batman clothes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there you go. Um, they, like oh, I said, they've, they've really grown out. Like, they have the Tin Man. Um, Tin the Tin Man too. They're really cute. Oh, here's... No, that's not Ice Bat. Ice Bat's my favorite because I have an Ice Bat, so that helps. Uh, Crayola. We can take a picture in front of the Crayola. Crayola picture. Oh. Oh, no. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Caesar, move your head. <laughs> nice. Let's take one in front of the ugly dolls. How big this place is. Um, Rila Kuma, also known in, uh, in layman's terms as the Pedo Bear. <laughs> what? He's Pedo Bear. No. Oh, <laughs> so we do not bring mention to that. Shh. These are really cute. I love always like Rila Kuma. Yeah, that's why they redesigned him. Um, <laughs> this is the Hello Kitty section. We won't really take pictures here. Um, so, and then we'll, we'll kind of just speed past this section. 
they have a uh, mini Claire's here. For all the women viewers, which who knows if we even have. <laughs> <laughs> And it's so cool because look, they they have everything to the fact that they even have doll like like blow air blowers, dryers. blow dryers for Reason the blowers. dolls. <laughs> um, so this is the like this, <laughs> this is the nursery that I was stop. <laughs> this is the nursery that I was talking about. <laughs> pretty much. So pretty much what happens? A baby, usually like kind of like a dog thing. You're like. Okay, I want this one. You get a certificate, you buy it. Um, some of yeah. them disappear in this. Oh, that's the right, that's the real. So, um, pretty much you adopt them. You adopt the baby. You adopt twins. And you walk away with it, and you take care of it like it was a baby. Um, or you just collect it. Depends. Um, this is Alice in Wonderland. Um, Shimmer, Tame, Wicked Witch of the West. West, yeah. Um, oh, these are cool. I didn't expect this to happen. Picture time! Oh. Caesar? <laughs> oh, my legs hurt. <laughs> um, and so you can also buy your own stroller if you get one of those those children. This this is really the only place I've actually seen this stuff, and it, that's why I'm really kind of sad that they're closing because of how really cool it is. Um, so now we are going to go to the section that Caesar wanted to go to, and so did Ray, so did I. Here we are. Well, that was the My Little Pony section. <laughs> Jim Henson. Look at this. This is really cool. Um, they have these this really cool bag that I really wanted. I might have that of um not that one. That was a cool bag, but no, I don't want that. Lunchbox, it's broken. This is the bag that I really wanted. It looks so awesome. I think so. I think we're up to like 43 minutes worth of video so far. So we're doing. This is a long one. So once we leave, I think if it's over. Only I had an iPhone. You guys, we, we didn't do any footage, but this, one of these was like the prize at the end of the year bash for a bonus and Yep. Yeah, that meme ran out of points. And I don't know, did you guys win? He, they won something, but... I won a... Show accuracy. Mm -hmm. I, I won a... I won a... Like a two uh, Discord like a figurines. Uh, Sorry, a regular, a regular one and... Jesus, blue is cold. I won the regular one and the blue from Discord. Mm -hmm. The blue food one, which was a Hot Topic exclusive. And he won a Swarovski Crystal DJ Pony. Three. Yeah. No, Pony. Home three. DJ home three. 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 Home um, <laughs> the Claire section, we already went through this part. We don't need to go through it again. We don't need to go through it again. <laughs> so we're walking fast. Like Claire, so <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. They have a lot of cool <laughs> stuff there. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so we're going to cut through uh, this way, back to the Skylanders section. Let me find April Fool's episode. Calico Critters. Can't go wrong. Uh, Mr. Men, Little Miss. To the right. Oh, there's a different back station. So these are like games and like tricks. So magic tricks. Mr. Magic Formula. <laughs> this is oh, wow, the Gold Monopoly. 
I've never seen it before with a mustache. Uh, Jenga, classic games. Um, Markitexer, where you get to build your own Empire State Building or Boom. Jenga Boom. These things actually, it's funny, they scramble from the inside. Um, Rock'em Sock'em from the very, the very original Rock'em Sock'em. These were a classic as a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah Rock'em They're actually the original. Can you check the date on them? Or just check out 2012. So they're a reprint, but it's really cool. Um, like I said, you find all the coolest games here. Bruno. Peppa, um, Pot, well, Peppa Pig. Pop the Pig. Um, Hanayama Cast Puzzle. Lincoln Logs. Um, Clue. Clue. Regular Clue. 3D Crystal Puzzles. Chess. More Magic. I really want that clock. I do want clock. Monopoly. Monopoly. Chess, as he pointed out. Um, portfolio, a Smarty Pig Bank that tracks your savings. There's an app. So pretty much you put in your money, and every time you put something in there, the app updates. It's so cool. It's really cool. Um, nice. ooh. Hold. And watch. Hold and watch. Ready? Hey there, little pit. How are you guys today? What? <laughs> you don't want to play with me? Well, too bad! Suckers! <laughs> yep. Yep! No, you can't. Oh, they, I didn't even get to see they had They have old, like Ray pointed out, I think. Um, they have old versions of old games. Scrabble, a crossword game, Nostalgia Edition, that's what they call them. Oh, Hungry Hungry Hippo. That freaking, oh. Those are real. They're, you know something? Those are actually real bugs. <laughs> when nice. you buy them, you actually eat them and they actually, they're real bugs. Nice. Oh, it's real protein. If you actually look at the, the bag. The nutrition facts. Nutrition facts. It does, it, it's, oh wait, no, the ingredients, yeah. ingredients. Ingredients is on the right. It says crickets. Crickets. Oh my god. It's good. It tastes good. It actually tastes good. Um, it, a few weeks ago, Nick Jonas was here at FAO Schwartz and he was playing on the. We'll, we'll talk about that later. So here's Schleich's where they have pretty much a bunch of model figurines if you're into that kind of stuff. It's really cool. Um, here's some. Some really cool artifacts. This is one of my favorite parts. So you got shark teeth, um, spider webs, solar toggles. I've always wanted one because like they're like spinning so magnetically or something. They're powered by light. By light? Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, nice. That's really cool. So, and it, and it spins around because of the light. Oh, nice. That's really cool. That is so cool. Yeah. And so, you, you, there's just a really a bunch of cool stuff. Ooh. Oh, I get the chills. So, you got the beetle, butterflies, tarantula, got those of you don't know, they're arachnophobic. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, here's an octopus. These are, they look, they look like rocks, they're soap. This is really cool. The lights. Mm -hmm. Those are. Um, yeah. There's a turtle. There's turtle fossils. Snake fossils. It's a butterfly again. These are really cool. You know. Oh, they look. It is from the Philippines. See? I used to I used to own one of these. But a bigger time, it was actual the full body. And it's from the Philippines. So, it's really cool. Um, 
So you see a button. That guy looks really nice. Um, 40 human ears. You get to see inside the human ear, master sculpture, everything. It's 39 bucks, but it's so cool. There, you can, the human skull is down there. So, And we can actually go around and we can see that part. Um, you have some more skulls and stuff. Replica teeth and they're replicas. Um, there's some bug. Here's an actual bug. It's really cool. Some like these fossils. Cute fossils. fossils. Yeah. And I shall take one. The evolution stone. Take this. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Mars rock. These are actually rocks. Um, more of the, that stuff over there. Um, here's some movie posters. This is really cool. That you can actually see, or even scenes, specific scenes. For example, Leia. This is so good. Lovely Leia. Resurrection, Trooper, Jawas. This is a Star Wars. These are the Disney classics, so. Jasmine down there. So it's like, you can, you know, one day is really not enough for this, but you need like one video per section. And I'm not gonna split that up, split that up like that. Tinkerbell. We're doing pretty well too. Captain Hook, Coker, yeah. Hook, Line, and Stinker. Ooh. Favorite Disney villain. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah. Looks like I. Looks like um. We'll just be. This is really cool. I love this place. It's like a second home because I come here every year during uh, the holidays see if I can get some stuff. Pocket scopes, I've, I wanted that. When I went to the American Museum of Natural History, I actually wanted a pocket scope so bad. Um, magnoscopes, those things are, those are not real lab microscopes because I tried to order one when I was doing my research project and it didn't work for me. Um, the FAO Big Telescope, $1,200. Originally $1,500, therefore, Again, there's a large range of prices. Um, one of my favorite sections uh, here is Astro Kids, which is this area right on top of me. This area. Because I wanted to be a geologist when I was younger. And so pretty much, you walk here and you can see a bunch of rocks. Really awesome rocks that like you, like I really wanted. Um, Snowflake Obsidian. This, this is actually new, I think. Because they have like tiger eye. Red jasmine. Really cool. I'm not gonna show sit here and show that you guys who want it, right? No, no Mm-hmm. We're here from New York. Yeah. Yeah, doing a tour. We're YouTubers. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So crack your own geo geode. So you crack this with a hammer. No, we That is so cool. You guys went to the big piano already? Not yet. We're go that, that's our final stop. So uh, I just love this place. Um, here's a little copper copper bar. Always wanted one. Um, here's some meteorites. Meteorite right here. Meteorite fragments also from Campo de Silio in Argentina. This is real copper. And these are shaped like these are really cool. Um, see, like these are ath arthropods, also. Oh, let me see this. Shark teeth. Oh, 
Here's something that I really wanted. Um, you guys have, still have the jumping beans? Oh wow. Is there gonna be any new stock? It's not in season yet. Okay. So, yeah. I was thinking that. Oh. Are we not gonna yeah, <laughs> next year. So. If you guys ever get a chance, go on YouTube over here and check out the jumping beans. They are really cool. So pretty much what happens, they're like they're rocks, and I think they have like uh, like animals in them. They have like. like things that people wouldn't really yeah, consider cool. going to, yeah. So, thank you. Um, more fossils. This is an actual moon rock. It's actually inside. Oh, there it is. It's tiny. It's a moon rock. Uh, from this living desert glass. Another shark too. Um, there's some more rocks and fossils. Jurassic Hunter Field Guide. This is all really cool. I can't, I can't. I love this place. Um, yep. Um, the Paradox. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Wild Republic. This is where we'll be finishing off our adventure later. We still have a few more things to check out. These are the smaller puppets, not the big, not the muppets, but the smaller puppets. That's really it's cool. cool. Yeah, so these are really cool. <laughs> um, this is the Build-A-Bear workshop. So they have also a branch. Even though, if you go down to 50th Street area, they um, they actually have a... They usually actually have a um, Build-A-Bear workshop on 50th Street. <laughs> so. Maybe we'll do the full bit of workshop till later. So, pretty much, yeah, we, we should. We should do that. It's on 50th Street, so we can check it out. Um, if you guys haven't been to Build a Bear, it's a Build a Bear workshop. <laughs> it's Look exactly it up. Uh, these are the hearts that you put into the bear. Every time you, I see this machine, I get the hearts. Yeah. yeah. Of the what? Um, you can. Recently. Wow. Oh. You can now add a heartbeat to your. Avenger Bears, those are really cool. He's Iron Man, I like that one. So I used to, I used to, I bought the cheaper bear. I bought the $12 bear, and I put the most cheapest clothes on it, and I paid about 20 bucks only. There's a Hello Kitty Ugly doll. Okay, so, and the books that we were talking about earlier. And now, uh, we're just gonna go cut back through here and head on back to where we were planning to take you guys in the first place um, to end it off before the Wild Republic, of course. We didn't get to take a picture for a while. We should have taken a picture in front of Astro Kids. I think one more, because we have to come back anyways. So. Brand new car! Oh wow, brand new car! Oh yeah, this is right. MoMA, here's the MoMA section. Which I used to go uh, to summer classes two years. I recommend going there. Get in the back. The Beatles. Nice. So pretty much, um, this is where you build your cars. It's kind of like if you guys remember Robo Plant, Robot Planet. It used to be in Palisades, pretty much. You sat there and you used to do your own, make your own robot. It was so cool. So pretty much you're doing the same thing here. You're going around and you're going to be building your own car. And it's really cool. The tools they have over here. I personally haven't been here before. This is the first time I'm in this particular section. What do you guys hear that? 
Oh. I don't know. What is that? What is that right now? I don't know. But I think it's a big piano. Picture time. Hill here in New York, and there's also one in Windsor. There, that was a uh, Windsor. Will we go there? Who knows? Windsor's far. Maybe the one in Florida or Ridge Hill. We could do another Lorenzo's adventure. It's really cool. They have a few rides there. It's really cute. Um, you have to get a picture with this little guy. I've always loved this little guy up here. Pretty much. Get in. Oh no! Don't block him. Don't block him. So this is a perfect picture for Lego. Lady Liberty, it wouldn't be nice without Lady Liberty. We don't really play with Playmobil because we're Lego people, but let's take a picture. Anyways. Nice. Um, these nano blocks are very similar to Legos. I really like them. That's the White House right there. Right there. White House. This is the only reason why I like Playmobil. <laughs> Um, here's some Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
Enough, you might be able to see in there. Okay. Yes. Um, there's Thinker. The Thinker. Cool. Here's some personalized gifts. Um, Brain Builder, Mega Block, Active Brains. Really cool. And, oh, look, Mario Kart 7 stuff. Kind of unexpected. Wow, that's so unexpected. Stardust Dragon? Five Shooting. Nice. Isn't that just new? That's just recent. Are you getting that? Yeah, it just came out. I don't know. Alright, so. We have to go to Astro Kids and take a picture before we leave. Because I'm gonna hate myself when we don't. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Then. Yep. Well. The fate of. Um, FAO Schwartz is that it's moving. So that's good. But it's gonna be leaving its famous location. So let's take this picture in front of Astro Kids before I cry. You're blocking the dinosaur. Get on the right side, one of you. Oh. Caesar, move to your right a bit, or your left. There you go. There you go. Wait, okay, one with the dinosaur. We saved the not so best for last, but that just because we kind of have to leave through here. This is Wild Republic. So if you ever go to like zoos, for example, the Central Park Zoo, the Bronx Zoo, <laughs> they sell really cute animals like this. So if you, you couldn't afford those giant animals from earlier, he's going to his mini ones. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. They even have, you know, they have cheap ones over here. The Steef and downstairs, they do, they're pretty cheap. They're about 20 bucks. <laughs> and you have the dinosaurs, which you can't really find usually. Well, obviously you can't really find them because they're dead. Um, so let's just take a picture with Wild Republic just to end off everything. When you go to Disney, you don't go to Animal Kingdom first unless you're into that. <laughs> you get what I mean? Well, guys, that was FAO Schwartz. Well, there is a basement. <laughs> there is a basement, but we're not gonna go to the basement because it's for kids and little babies. Even then, there's not enough time. So. Yeah, but we got most of what we want to show you, and um, maybe we'll do a separate video someday of the panel before it closes. Yeah. <laughs> call, call it the elusive giant piano at FAO Schwartz. Yep. And so we pretty much stop, haven't stopped recording this entire time. Meaning, I have an easy job. One of the longest videos you'll, you'll have to do. And also, a good news is that we didn't have much, there wasn't many mistakes that we made. Yeah, no hijinks or anything, so we can easily just get we this out. We can just, yeah. Well, Lord, are you sure that normal version is what this thing? No, but we have to take a picture with this guy, though. Wait, wait. Thank you. Can we take a picture with you real quick? Oh, we get a selfie? Yeah. We get a selfie. Yep. So, just because, so. Thank you. Thank you so, Thank you so much. Have a nice one. You too. Well, that was FAO Schwartz, everybody. Um... Thank you. Yeah, you guys had a lot of fun. Did you guys have a lot of fun? I had a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? I have.
one. And I'm very sad that it's gonna be closing. Very sad because this is the first time they went and the last time. The store, like Toys R Us, deserves to be, to stay open. Yep. Yeah, hopefully, I can it get, does. Hopefully, I can get bottles. Hopefully. hopefully. So, guys, uh, remember where it is: Fifth That's Avenue, uh, between Fifth between Madison and Fifth Avenue, Fifty Eighth Street. Get here before closes. On that note, everybody. This has been Royal Dude Lorenzo. This is me, my man. This is Nintendo Fan Kuso. I am Blue Link. I am Purple Link. I am Green Link. And we are signing off on another Lorenzo's adventure to FAO Shores. See you guys, See you guys next time. time.